Hi there, everyone. It's uh, John Tantillo, the marketing doctor. On uh, Saturday, April 1st, first, uh, Donovan John O'Kelly's birthday. And um, I'm here to give you an update uh, regarding uh, what's going on in the life of uh, John Tantillo. Uh, first of all, as you may or may not know, my last hyperbaric treatment is this coming Thursday. I think it's the 6th of April will be my last. And what does that basically mean? It means that I will have much more time uh, to uh, write and appear on Newsmax and do all of those things that I really uh, like to do or love to do and without interfering with my therapy. Um, and what I will be doing in substitution of the uh, hyperbaric, but it will be more of uh, the time that I want, and that will be doing physical therapy, which will mean walking. So uh, I am right now in the middle of doing uh, skin grafts, and I explained to you what that is, and it's not really called skin grafts anymore. It's called uh, skin substitution, and uh, most and, and there is a uh, a link on my Facebook um, feed regarding that in which they use placenta and no it's it's not abortion uh related uh it's uh, a living placenta um and some women may know of this that they actually um some women um volunteer to uh use the placenta for uh, various um uh physical remedies and uh, one of those physical remedies um, is this skin substitution. So um, there you go. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very uh, happy about that. But let's get back to the walking. I got to get uh, the walking done. And that is the critical path for me getting a prosthesis replacement right now i have an older um method for the prosthesis which is um which is the non suction cup approach i have to um uh thread um a piece of strap uh that connects with the prosthesis and this it's a, a little, it's a little convoluted, but uh, what I'm going to be doing, and I can only do this when I start walking, is, and that's why it's the critical path. That's what I I I got to do. Uh, uh, add to that, I will um, be moving on April the twelfth to from a house that has no gym to a apartment complex um with uh with whom i will uh have a roommate and helper and his name is tony so that tony will um uh get me to places uh, my doctor's appointments, and um, he will um, also be um, uh, staying with me. So that's that's very, very important. And I have a gym and a swimming pool uh, there at this complex. It's very, very nice. And um, I'm very excited about it. So, um, and I can also uh, do my uh, upper body training and uh, all sorts of uh, fun things like that. So that's uh, really, really exciting. Um, 
Uh, I also uh, want to uh, look into uh, doing a documentary of getting some folks uh, interested, maybe even students over here at ASU or any of the um, uh, colleges on uh, my idea of the documentary, uh, how to get a leg up, uh, how to cope with uh, above the knee amputation and my journey uh, through that. And once we have that documentary, maybe what we could do is a, uh, a streaming series um, that could help people who uh, have had to have uh, this um, uh, amputation, uh, deal with it and deal with it uh, successfully. I hope the thing. I hope I'm somewhat of an example or role model into not only uh, the belief in being positive, but my belief in prayer. And um, I want to thank those people uh, that have reminded me and have helped me find my way uh, back to prayer and a belief in belief in God. So uh, I'm, I don't want to mention their names because they, they're, they're very private people, even though they're in the public eye. Uh, they, they kind of wish that uh, I don't do things like that. So I'm not, I'm not going to really uh, get into it. So um, there you go with the documentary. If anybody have, has any ideas on this documentary idea, uh, that would be good. So, you know, uh, email me at doc at johntantillo.com. That's doc at johntantillo.com, which is great, which would be good. And I think that's just about it in terms of um, uh, giving you an update. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I feel no pain. Uh, every um, intermittently, or every once in a while, I get this like burning sensation on the right side of the foot um, where I had my uh, Taylor's bunion, okay? And where, and where the um, infection lied or laid. Uh, and now it's gone. And as my nurse, Matt, told me, uh, you got to uh, really baby the foot because what you don't want to happen is for it to open and get another infection. So these are all things that I'm, I'm willing to uh, take on and am willing to um, uh, uh, be successful at. So I'm, I'm, really, uh, I'm, re I'm really, really happy. I'm not going to Donovan's birthday party because his poor mother, Monica, has five kids that uh, she's got to coordinate. I, this woman is just uh, incredible what she does for her son. And um, I, I believe that Donovan appreciates her, but wow, what a, you know, and, and it's not only uh, Monica, there are a lot of single mommies that are out there that do such a great job. And let me tip, my hat to them and say thank you for being great mommies and uh she is really a great mommy so um there you go if you have uh any questions uh regarding my uh my therapy like i said the uh wound care component the hyperbaric wound care component uh, will end this coming Thursday, and then we will um, uh, continue the skin substitution treatment, uh, which um, uh, which will be every Tuesday. I will uh, go and uh, find out how I'm doing with uh, treatment with uh, wound dressing changes every saturday so instead of it be the, the a wound change being done every day 
then it went to three times a week. Now it's basically happening twice a week, Tuesday when I go see the wound care people, which is the office of Michael Berman and my um, my uh, nurse over there, uh, my, uh, my um, what do they call them? Um, uh, nurse practitioner, uh, Scott, Double T, Nuvieva, uh, uh, I think is his last name. But if you go to um, uh, the wound care at Bar uh, Abrazo Wound Care Center uh, under the uh, auspices of Dr. Michael Berman, you will uh, understand. Um, uh all that they, that they do and uh so every every tuesday to make a uh, a short story even longer uh what i do every tuesday is they see how the skin graph is progressing and if uh it needs uh added skin substitution they do that then so my my follow up which was this past tuesday uh scott said it's amazing. You are an excellent example of how our wound care therapy works. So that makes me really, really happy. So, uh, and I'm looking uh, forward to my next chapter in this, um, in this journey that I'm taking. So I want to thank you all. And, um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel because that will be um, that will be important. Tell your friends about it if they uh, if they have had an amputation, uh, whether it's by accident or uh, by uh, if you're a veteran. Uh, and I don't compare what I've had uh, to what a veteran goes through, uh, but um, I may be of help of uh you know as sinatra would say uh getting up and starting all over again pick yourself up and start all over again so there you go so that's it today i have a meeting with a friend regarding the um the documentary and the next steps and i have uh off for, for passover next week and easter as well as uh, it's our summer break or um, so I'm or spring break as they call it. So I'm looking forward to some days where I can catch up and uh, start writing uh, a proposal for this um, uh, documentary that I'm doing. And I won't get my sister too upset at me by doing too much work. Um, I will not, I will not be doing very much work, uh, because of the, uh, because of hyperbaric, uh, coming to an end. And I don't know if you realize what the hyperbaric meant. Uh, it meant me getting up at six 30, uh, getting into the car at, uh, actually getting up at five 30, getting into the car by six 30, getting to the wound care center at seven o'clock, uh, being put in the hyperbaric chamber from eight to 10, then uh, rushing back for my 12 o'clock class, which is three o'clock uh, New York time. All right. And then I would teach from um, uh, three o'clock to eight o'clock. All right. Or from um, uh, 12 to uh five so that that was my schedule and then people say well why aren't you on newsmax well it, it was almost impossible to uh, uh to to make that uh make that happen but now i'm gonna i'll have some time and we'll 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 figure it out there's a lot of things i i want to talk about uh, regarding uh, brands, I don't know if you're aware of it, but Pepsi uh, Cola or Pepsi just changed their logo. 
So, I mean, uh, that's what I like to t talk about. And on, a, on another note, um, uh, Bob Kraft from the New England Patriots have um, just donated $25 million for a new anti-Semitism campaign, which I think is uh, brilliant. And um, if you see people wearing a blue square, I, I'm going to see if I can uh, buy uh, some of them and hand them out. Uh, it's uh, an awareness of anti-Semitism, where uh, in the United States, there are 2.8 million uh, Jewish people. Uh, they, they, they account for 55 percent of the hate crimes that are performed in the United States. So um, I'm very committed to stopping that, especially uh, that kind of hate, especially because uh, Mr. Kraft uh, suggested uh, Christians get involved and Muslims get involved and everybody get involved in making uh, people aware of that fact and that that, that, that nonsense has to stop. So I think I said enough today. Um, and like I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your friends um, to subscribe as well. Um, I, I have about 200 subscribers. I like to get that up to at least a thousand. So um, I am, I'm going to um, I'm going to start a campaign. Get my man um, um, Kurt involved in that. And um, there you have it. I spoke much too long, but it's been a while. And um, uh, there I go. Uh, I'm going to keep away from uh, politics uh, because I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to uh, uh, cannibalize what I'm trying to do here, which is make people aware of above knee amputation and how the best way to do that is through prayer and belief in self and belief in others and making the best out of the situation that you that you're in and not feel sorry for yourself look at it as your way of uh, or god's way of making you um a spokesperson uh for that and helping others uh, deal with that. So enough. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can get it at um, uh, John Tantillo, the marketing doctor. You put in John Tantillo, the marketing uh, uh, the marketing doctor uh, in Google um, uh, YouTube or go to YouTube and just put John Tantil, the marketing doctor, and you'll come up and just subscribe. Okay, that's it. TTFN, ta-ta for now. Thank you, and thank you all. Bye-bye.